a STATS program. This BSTAT video learning tool will be brought to you by Mr. Winfred Majors, the software developer of this innovative software tool. So please relax, sit back, and pay close attention while Mr. Majors explains to you in detail how this works and how this program will enhance real-time statistics for your team, coaches, and statisticians. Thank you. My name is Winfred Majors. I am the CEO and software developer for Majors Wear Technologies. Today I'd like to incorporate a, prog a software program called the Best Boss Desk Program. This program is easy to operate, quick to learn, and give accurate stats for the team and players. It has a short learning curve and give accurate records. As you see on the screen that's now, you will see the eight steps that a statistician must take before processing and doing stats within this program. It's very imperative that he or she does these steps. Now I'm going to the main screen, press the OK button. Now this is the statistician software application program. You see it's broken down in different categories, such as you have the player's full name, their number, their height, their weight, their position, the school, the team logo, the team name, the player's stats from two points, three points, and free throws, missed two points, missed three points, missed free throws, Give the attempts and made for each category. Has incorporated the ABA 3D light option to turn on and off. The assist of blocks, steals, assists, rebounds, turnovers, total individual points, total game points, players' fouls, technical fouls, total personal fouls, and total team fouls. This will give stats for everything from the player to the team. Now, once you, you have downloaded this program and you want to add your team to it, this is how we're going to do it. So we'll click on the Add Team button. Once I get there, it says Create a new team roster, which should be your team. Press the OK button. Then you go to the top and you will type in your basketball team name. Now, I'm, I'm, I'll make sure that this is very critical. In the team name, you cannot use spaces. You gotta use underscore instead of spaces. So from there, we can go and this could be a male team. Go set the team logo. Go type in the coach's name. The team email address. And we're going to add your players to the team. So click, click on the Add Player button. Type in the full name. Type in the player number, the height. Their weight, their position, their high school or college they attend. Go add it, do a, a new player, add player again, a second player, type in the full name. Now you see this arrow has came up. Duplicate player number. Player one and player two can have the same number. So we gotta change that. So it catch errors. So you cannot duplicate the player's numbers. This is critical when doing stats. So the stats are getting 
to the right person. So hit OK on that and change that player's number. Okay, we're gonna add another player. The number. You try again, same thing happens. Can I have the group of numbers? Hit okay on that. Now on this screen, basically you're just going to go through about three players, but you put Messi can on here just to give you an example how it works, how easy it is to use. Okay, we're going to try one more player. We're going to add another player here. Add one more player. I'm going to show you something that you can do also. Add another player. Add number. Okay, now we got a player sitting now. Say Kevin Thomas don't want to play for you anymore. So you click on Kevin's name. Now go ahead and click the delete button. And Kevin's gone. So you see you can add and delete players. So I'm gonna say roster. Hit OK. Edit. Now if I go to my edit team menu, and I can see all my teams there. And this field is right there. So now he's in your system, and you can play, uh, add more players to this field and incorporate them into your game. And this also, if, you know, if a, individual, a team comment don't have a stats report, you can import that data, team data into your program. Say it was you playing against the uh, Flying Tigers, you're going to print out that stat sheet for them. That's the roster, excuse me, the stat sheet. And that's stat sheet for them. And I also give you one that's, that's bigger, it has more players with it. So let's go with the Baylor Bears. As you see, you can add a picture here and I can do a stat sheet also for them. And bring it down so you can see everything correctly. And the stat sheets, it has the two points, the three points. Free throws, assists, rebounds, steals, turnover, fouls, total fouls. It's on the main program. The stat sheet does. Once again, so for it, the statistician will give us back to your to your statistician, and she can input this data into her program. So therefore, you can do two teams at the same time. So I'm gonna exit out of this program, and now we're gonna do a game. Say now you know, went to the roster, got with the team. The roster is verified, all players are there, so I'm going to select the Robinson Rockets. And the teammate playing against the opponent is the Fulton Tigers. Hit OK on that. The Robinson Rockets versus the Fulton Tigers, the date of the game. Hit OK. Referees working the game. This is good to, to monitor referees working the game. So the referees working the game, you input your referees into that database. So there's referees here who work the game. Enter your game lo basketball game location. And then enter the statistician's name. Then hit the submit button. 
you will see the first ref, second ref, game location, and the statistician's name. Hit OK on that. Now, you have everything ready on, on the team, ready to go for do a game. As you see on the side, you got all the players and their numbers. The head coach, which is drone majors. Now, let's get started. So, the game can start. Uh, 23 got the ball. He made a two. Then he missed a two. Now, if you notice, I got two attempts, but made one. One times two is two. Now, I say he shot a, another two, and that was a three. So I will select. I will select that two and change that and make that a three. Now it's five. Put the free throw line. Got some free throws. Got a couple of assists. A couple of fouls. Go number twelve. Say he shot a three, but it wasn't a three. It was a two. So. I subtract that three and give him a two. Couple of fouls. Got a couple points. And notice, he turned red. Why? He got three fouls more. He's in foul trouble. So the statistician can let the coach know that David Washington on 12 is in foul trouble. So go down the scale. Another two points, three points, a couple of assists, fouls, and say coach call a timeout. So we've got a timeout here, first half, first timeout. And says it was said time was at 10, 15. What's this timeout? Exit out there, you got 10 15 with the first timeout. Okay, so uh, go back in game again. Got three, got three, got three, got two, got a couple of fouls here, a couple of assists, blocks. Now you notice he got the first, first half, he got to over eight fouls recorded for the team. Okay, so, and say go and call another timeout. Timeout two. Click on timeout two. And say he calls timeout at uh, 0815. Save that. So I got two timeouts. It's a timeout recorded. Hit exit on that. Okay, we're good there. Okay, now. Say we're at halftime and the coach wanna know what your team is doing. So you can go here to the print option, to the printer, do it by team, print this out, hard copy, and give it to the coach. Or if you have access or PDF loaded on your computer, you can print it in that format and email it to the coach. Exit out of that. If you want to see individual stats, click on individual stats. Click on the player name. See, I don't see what David doing. I got the stats. Ten points. I'm blessed he got. Everything's right here for him. Exit out of that. Exit out. Okay, now it's second half going. So click on second half. Uh, player number 23, uh, 30, 37. Larry Johnson come up. Got three. Got three. And guess what? The three light came on. Bam. Okay, now, rules have changed. Twos are now threes. Threes are now fours. Let's test that. So if I hit this two, it should be a three. That should be nine. I click on it. Boom. That's nine. Now, if you made a three, which is a four, that should be 12. I click on that three. Thirteen. My bad. Free throws, free throws. I turn it like back on. And if you notice, when the three light is on, off, everything's black. When it's on, everything's purple. Okay, so let's go down here to this player, Michael White. Got a couple free throws, threes, two points. 
a couple of fouls, I got a couple of turnovers, a couple of assists. Three light came on again. He shot three. Bam. Okay. And so now we get to the games over with. It's dropping rockets. So we can go here and click on save game. And say the fourth and Tigers got 75. This is a good game. They made 75 points. We're going to save it. You won the game. It okay? It okay? It okay. Now, you have recorded your first game with the stats of both teams. You, re you received the statistician from the stat sheet you, to the other statistician give to you. And you can document this data into this program. Okay, now let's look at your win-loss stats. Let's click over here. And Salas is going with the Robson Rockets. So I click on team. I set the Robson Rockets. You see I have to pay a total of six games. I lost one. I mean, a total of seven games. I got six wins and one loss. Hit OK. So I'm going to print that out. I hit print. I got all my games here and the number of points I average per game for the team. So I made 66.7 points per game average wise for the team. Exit out of that. Exit out of that. Okay, now, y'all seen the program? You seen the stats? You see me do edits? You see me do stat sheets? Now I say you want to purchase the program. Okay? So this is what you do. You click on this eye right here. You click on buy now, the buy now button, you end your credit card permission here, and then, then hit the order form button, once you fill out the information here, the email addresses, all that's filled out, that's fine. Click on the uh, order form button. Now, this is this is very, very, very important. Once payment through PayPal is made and verified, email me this form. It's called the software underscore order info dot CBS. Located on your C drive, ABA underscore B stats directory on your computer. Send this file to majorsquare at yahoo.com. Once I receive that file, I will send the master key to you so you can make this team make this game active. As you notice on this on this team, it's still uh, in elevation mode, have four days left. So send so you a key. So we're gonna type in the master key I sent to you. Hit the submit button. We're going to try uh, one more time. Once you get once you get the master key sent to you, this is just a demo to show you how it works. Uh, this is a false master key, so we will see the, to let Jim master key to activate it. But that's how the process works. And you can upload software, and you can see it. And it, this will change from still evaluating to a, a, a to an active program. Uh, one other thing, and if you wish to order and download my software, you can do this also. You can go back to my key, and you can go here to our website. And type in www.x4u.com. Press in the key. Then go to the basketball stats on basketball on the menu bar. And go to the ABA 3D. 
this and right here says click here to download click, click this link right here to download the, the software and install it on your machine you have 15 days free to run this software after 15 days it will expire then contact me to get the master key again I want to thank you for viewing this this video if you have any questions or comments please contact me at 770-875-1361 or email me at wmajors61 at gmail.com once again I thank you for your look at this video may you have a blessed day and a blessed night thank you and bye bye